Okay, you, can you tell me who you are, please? <laughs> My name is Karen Higgins, and I am one of the co-presidents of National Nurses United. And uh, you're here today from what city, what state? I'm actually here from Boston, Massachusetts, and um, I'm here with nurses from across the country, as far as California, up to Maine, down to Florida, up to Minnesota, Michigan, and we're all here today because of the fact that we're looking at the Robin Hood tax, which is a financial tax on Wall Street. And how does this tax, how do you propose this tax to work? Well, you know what, we see it as because what happens with us and why we've gotten involved as nurses is we've been watching the fallout from the, um, the poor economy that we have right now. And we're seeing people coming in sicker than they've ever been before. Even with insurance, they're coming in sicker because deductibles cost too much and they're trying to take care of their family, they're trying to keep a job, so they're not taking care of themselves. We're seeing children who, you know, in order for them to eat, their parents are, you know, having to buy food in bulk. Well, that's not healthy food. And we're seeing now children with adult diseases like diabetes and hypertension. So we see the fallout. And we're watching what's going on in Washington. And the solution is to go after Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. The, the foundations of what have been able to keep people afloat during this really horrific time in, in our economy. And the, we looked at it, and we had economists look at it, and what came up is that we tax Wall Street a very, very small amount. It's basically 0.5% on the high end um, stocks and exchanges that they do. That we could actually raise 300, up to, they suggested about $350 billion a year that we could actually put back into our economy to help people with jobs, to help people have homes, to have better education, and to have education that children won't be spending the rest of their life paying off. Um, you know, to look at better health care, to look at the environment, all the issues that we're facing. We think that this is a tax actually for the people instead of a tax on the people. And we think this is a no brainer and it should be done. How many nurses do you expect to be here today? I think we have at least, I think, about um, from across the country. I think we probably get about four or five hundred that we brought in just as a representation. But we actually represent 185,000. Um, and they all they came from all across. They're all over the country. They're from okay. all over the country. Yeah. But well, we're not Karen, the only ones here because the yeah. issue is it's not just our problem; it's an international problem, and we know that the G20. Financial um, finances, uh, financiers are meeting in Washington this weekend. This is an international problem, and you'll see later on we have people here from international groups as well, because the other countries like Italy, France, Germany are all moving to put this tax in place in Europe. Asia does it. There's a lot of countries that do have this tax. And we're pushing to say, we shouldn't be left behind. We need to do this as well. We have as many financial problems as everybody else. We need to be part of the solution and not be left out. Thank you, Karen. You're welcome.